Hey all you cool cats and kittens. My name is Marco from GeleedPoultry.com and in this episode I'll show off some of our ice pots we keep and breed. We won't be showing off all the cultures we currently work with because some of them are just still too small and others are just top secret. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Let's start off with the Armadlidium nasatum. I will be showing them in no particular order at all. Just whatever bin I can grab first. So at first sight they look pretty plain and simple. But if you look closely you can see a lot of detail in them. I really like those nasatum. We also work with the peach color farm. That will show up later today. Up next, <coughs> Porcelio Scabber Dalmatian. Try to adjust my light a bit. Really nice species. Some are more black, some are more speckled. These containers are, uh, are small ones. The big ones show up later. This is probably my favorite species at the moment, Orcelio expansus, and I don't think it needs any explanation of why I love them so much. Huge animals, nice coloration, nice form. Let me know in the comments what your favorite species at the moment is. I bet I'll see a lot of rubber duckies in there. And with good reason. Another Porcelio scabber. This time the orange ones. A nice deep orange reddish color. Beautiful stuff. We will also be putting up more isopods up in our web, web shop uh, in the coming days. But I still have to figure out what cultures are doing well and from what cultures I can sell some of. This is the Armadolidium Frontirostre. They come in a range of brown colors. There's a bunch together. They go from um, a blackish brown to a chocolate brown, grayish brown. Not the most beautiful species, but still, they're all nice. Another big species, Porcelio species Valencia. Look at the size of them. Fun stuff. I really like the big ones. Size does matter. This is the Armadillidium uh, Clui from the Dubrovnik. As you can see, they have nice, nice red skirt, 
with yellow dots on them. I think their common name is uh, something like Clown Isopod. smaller tops now on to the bigger ones these are all uh, IKEA bins I'll have to adjust the camera a bit this is the Armadillidium Fugari and find a nice adult. Come on, boy. Really subtle coloration on them. They're nice to uh, use for macro photography because then the nice little details all come out. Next one doesn't need a macro lens. These are the Porcelio Hoffman Segai. Hoffman Segi. Huge animals. Or I have a really small thumb. These take a long time to become adult. Ours are finally adult. Last time I had adults I uh, ended up selling too many off. So it took a long time before our babies were adult again but hopefully soon they start producing again. Here are our Armadillidium maculatum, the zebra pillbox, sold a lot of these, everyone loves them, but I have to produce more first now. Yeah, not too many in here anymore. We'll have to work on that. Here we have the Porcelio Laevis, but the white ones. Really like the white ones. Oops. All Porcelio lives are fun animals to work with. They're easy to keep, they produce well, they're active. One of the best beginner species. Another Laevis, this time a dairy cow. I think uh, about 70% of people starting with isopods start off with these. They're cheap, they're easy, and they still look good. And it's also really fun species to uh, line breed with. And yet a 
another layers this time. The orange ones. Oops. And it's gone. I use these a lot in uh, bioactive terrariums. Most live species do well in uh, bioactive setups, but I prefer the orange ones. from Japan the babies small ones are nicely yellow colored if I can find a nice yellow one there they are and when they grow older they lose the, the yellow shine but you can see a lot of yellow stippling on them Also a nice range of uh, grays and browns. Sometimes I like to keep cultures really nicely separated by color, but having a lot of different animals in uh, from from the same species in one tank is also nice. These are doing really good. Another Armadalidium. This time the Granulatum. With nice speckles on them. Some have a lot, some have little. Porcelio in canvas. Also plain looking at first sight, but if you really Look at them closely, you can see the nice coloration on them. I like these. Earlier I showed the Armalidium nasatum. These are the nasatum peach. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Two more tubs to go. Yet again, Porcelio Lairis. This time the milk bags. They almost look like the wild type, but with a with a sheen on top of them. Let's find out. 
what's in the lost bin. The smallest ones for the latest. Porcelionidus brunosus, the orange form. I can get one up close. These are very fast breeders, and since they're a smaller species, they are often used as a feeder insect. Example for poison dart frogs. And they're also used in a lot of bioactive setups. They can handle a lot as well. If you keep them uh, crowded, a lot of in a small enclosure, make sure you feed a lot of um, animal matter, like dried shrimp, dried fish, because they need uh, protein, otherwise they might start eating each other. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions regarding isopods or any other invertebrates, feel free to send us a message over here or on Facebook, Instagram, whatever way you prefer. I hope everyone will stay healthy and safe during these times and see you next time. Bye!